MK Love Fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. Now, these videos are helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week is from July the 29th to August the 4th. We're going through three phases of the moon. We have five planets in retrograde and we're in eclipse season which is a very intense time and also this is the second new moon that we've had this month this is a rare occasion so let's get into the phases of the moon and then we'll do the astrological influences and then we'll do the tarot <laughs> there's a lot involved in weekly angel guidance also, if you're joining me on the live chat, can you write in the comments box where you are in the world? Because I would love to hear from you. Okay, so we're beginning the week from Wednesday, to Monday to Wednesday. I read that backwards. Monday to Wednesday, we have the balsamic mood. This is a really beautiful time, a time where you can disconnect. So this is your affirmation for this time. I am so happy and grateful for this wonderful opportunity to disconnect from the world and just be. I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. This is a really, really fabulous time to disconnect from social media. Go out in Mother Nature, go camping, go on a day trip somewhere. Somewhere where you're technology free would probably be the best. So that's from Monday to Wednesday. See how that fits in with your schedule no matter where you are in the world or what's going on for you. So Thursday we have, well this is from Thursday to Saturday, but as you know new moons actually last for a month. So this is the new moon in eight degrees and 36 minutes of Leo. Leo is the lion. Um, and this is a time of renewal. This is like we've come full circle. We've gone through all the eight phases of the moon and now we're starting again. So your affirmation for this time is, I am so happy and grateful now that I celebrate this wonderful new opportunity to manifest the next chapter towards my dream life. I set my intention with love and solidify my why because this is and solidify why this is so important to me. I got an extra typo in there. Why this is so important to me. So check on the screen right now and I'll tell you the time in which this is happening for you around the world. So Wednesday, July 31st, this is 8.12 p.m. Pacific time, 11.12 p.m. Eastern time. Now on Thursday, August the 1st, First, this is the 4.12 a.m. British Standard Time, 8.42 Indian Standard Time, 1.12 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and 3.12 p.m. New Zealand Standard Time. Amazing, I'm very excited for this. I wonder how you're actually going to apply everything that maybe came up during July and how you're going to work your magic for August, because I feel like August is gonna be a little bit easier actually. Oh, um, okay. Then on Sunday, we have the waxing crescent of the moon. This is the perfect time for planning. So your affirmation for this time is, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have the opportunity to plan for success. I segment my intention into actionable steps and schedule into my calendar. So basically it's your resting Monday to Wednesday, then you are figuring out on, what was that, Thursday? You're figuring out what do you actually want to manifest this month? What do you want to manifest in August? What is the next chapter towards your dream life? Remember, we reverse engineer it. This is the dream life. You segment backwards. What are you working on for this month? All right, and then you're basically starting to plan. But it's only a little bit of planning on Sunday, so if that doesn't happen, you can do that for Monday. But it depends on where you are in the world and the times in which this fits for you. Okay, so that's the phases of the moon. In terms of the astrological influences, as I said before, we're in eclipse season. We're at the beginning of eclipse season. This is setting us up for, well, eclipses end things and they start things new. So this could be, some of you could be starting a new job, a new, completely different job actually. It um, could be changing careers, some of you could be moving, some of you could be traveling. I don't know, your life is gonna be shaken up a little bit. So just go with what comes up because it's divinely orchestrated. Okay, then the astrological influences. We have five planets in retrograde. 
which has been going on for quite a while, but it's prepping the foundations for the next 20 to 30 years. So yeah, we're going through this uncomfortable, challenging time. Fear is coming up and we're like, oh my God, but it is working out for our highest good. So we've got Jupiter retrograde until August the 11th. Jupiter is all about philosophical and spiritual introspection. You can just read it up here. And reflection involving growth, happiness, and success with your romantic and intimate relationships. July was really tough. There was a lot of things that have come out. Maybe now things are starting to become a lot easier in terms of those relationships or however they look like for you. Pluto retrograde is until October the 3rd. It's massive transformation, which can bring up your fears. Basically, Pluto gets you out of your comfort zone, puts you to where you want to be long term and helps you achieve that. But patience is a key factor. <laughs> patience because, you know, it takes time to change your life. You're not going to do it just in one moon cycle. You know, it could take you six months to set you up for where you want to be. You have to have patience and surrender. Um, it also helps you navigate your personal power as we've like putting in the boundaries and we're asserting ourselves and we're like, this is what I want to do and we're going with it. Saturn retrograde until September the 18th. It's the Lord of Karma. The lessons relate to your thoughts and your words and it's a difficult time to make decisions due to being really indecisive and negative thoughts that can surface, which is probably coming up from the Pluto retrograde. We also have Neptune retrograde till November the 27th. This is about delusions and deceptions that can come up and that can bring some disappointments depending on what's going on for you. So the way you can work with this is to channel your inspirations into, you know, what are you wanting to manifest? That's going to help you stay focused. We also have Mercury in retrograde until August or something. Uh, let me just check my other calendar. Um, one moment, please. I'm in the wrong calendar. Mercury retrograde until August the 2nd. Oh, okay. So it ends this week. Yay. I wonder what it came up for you. It's actually a beautiful time because retrogrades show you things that you have missed and it gives you an opportunity to fix things and to make them better. But whatever you're doing during retrogrades, it gives you three times the results because it takes three times the work. Anyways, that's what we can expect for this week. Yay, Mercury Retrograde ends this week. That means the light is coming. All right, so they're the phases of the moon, astrological influences, blah, 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 blah. Let's get on to the tarot, the juicy stuff. I'm using the Shadowscapes Tarot if you're new to the MK Love Fam. And this is to give you a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. We're going to start with the focus card for this week. Wow, that was pretty boom. Wow, okay, the nine of wands, interesting. I like this card, this is a good card. This is about, wands is about reserving your strength. <laughs> okay, we're reserving our strength because we don't wanna to get too excited and be like, oh my God, I wanna do this. You know, you're still in that reserve mode. You know that this is the direction in which you're going. You know as soon as you need to press play, it's all going to go. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Everything's going to open up for you. But you're in reserve, which is kind of interesting because that totally fits with this week in terms of the phases of the moon. We're resting and then we're like thinking about the vision, dream life, segmenting back. What do we want to focus on for this chapter in this moon cycle? And then you're starting to plan it out. And schedule all that goodness so that makes sense I get yeah because last week I was kind of like uh, what the heck I don't really understand but maybe this will all make sense um, going forth so Monday what do we need to know one card angels please from the MK love fan nope they want two no three we're having a lot of threes lately Woo! ace of cups yeah page of swords the Six of Pentacles. Why does this one always come up? Because I always feel like I don't do this card justice. Is that because that means something to me or who knows? Right, let's go to the Ace of Cups. Beginning a new journey. And it's interesting because it's the reflecting. It's like you're reflecting that you have come so far. We've achieved a lot. We've done a lot of deep healing. Yes, there is more to do, but this is in a completely different way. Um... Itchy nose. Let me just check metaphysics. 
you guys know if you've been following me i use um, the metaphysics guide at the back of you can heal your life from louise l hay nose no 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 nose represents self recognition why does it have itchy nose because that's what i always get self recognition okay yeah this is kind of like celebrating how far you've come what is the thing? I reflect with gratitude. Yeah, you're reflecting that. Holy crap, you've been through a lot in July. And now that you're coming into the beginning of August, you're kind of like, mate, I'm beginning. I'm like this new fabulous person. I have worked through the blockages. Yeah, it was tough. I had some really, really tough conversations. Had to deal with a lot to do with the matters of the heart. But now, now I see. Um, I heard something saying like, and now I can see, is that a song? Um, and now I can see. It wasn't, and now I see clearly now the rain has gone. It wasn't that song, it was another one. Okay, but that's good. So you're beginning a new emotional journey. The Page of Swords, she is really beautiful. It's like she doesn't condemn. It's like, I see this kind of as like awareness and that she sees whatever took place. There's a lot of darkness, but there's also a lot of beauty, but she's actually mothering the little white swan. Purity. But she's, in, she's dressed in half black clothes and her wings are white. So that balance of the contrast that's been going on in terms of your emotions with this, in terms of your emotions with this, I feel like it's very non-judgmental, very having the awareness of what happened and that everyone that you've had to deal with in terms of the emotions that have come up lately, those people are doing the very best they can. If they knew how to treat you with love and respect, don't you think they would do it? Yes, some people may be aware that they're doing it, but I feel like that's really slim. And I don't feel like you guys and my beautiful MK Love fam that are attracting that kind of stuff into you. Well, the majority of you anyway, which I'm feeling. I feel like this is the awareness and you're seeing things in a different light. You're not seeing them from like a place of ego. You're seeing them from a place of love. In terms of the Six of Pentacles, it's like there has been growth that is coming up through the most oh okay so there's beauty that is coming out of a really dark time that's how i feel it and the cycles are happening there is always the light and the dark there are four seasons you know a time to reap and a time to sow i feel like everything is interconnected and woven and that i don't feel like people were were trying to do you harm how does this i don't feel like people were really trying to do you harm but now you're seeing why things happen the way that they did Wow, I never read those cards like that. All right, Tuesday. What do we need to know for Tuesday, angels? Is there three again? Yep, threes. Okay, <clears throat> wow. All right, the 10 of wands. That was our focus last week or that happened last week? 10 of wands is basically carrying too much. So you've realize that you have been carrying too much and you know that this is a time where you have to change things up you can't keep going the way that you're going you understand that because you're looking for the two of pentacles which is you're trying to find your balance and you're reflecting back and i feel like you've already worked out what you need to do to change things up but you're kind of reflecting on you be like okay this happened last month i'm so happy and grateful that this happened these are the lessons and this is what i need to know to move forward but you're not like if we go back to the focus card, the nine of wands, you're understanding that everything happened the way that it needed to, but you're in reserve mode. I feel like you just, I feel like this is all just kind of like not being in like the, the, um, I feel like you're not getting caught up in everything. I feel like now this is a time where you're observing everything. Yeah. And then, oh, the Nine of Pentacles is beautiful. It's like she's continuing to play this beautiful piano no matter what obstacles and obstructions come up. But what she's doing is she's doing what makes her feel good, vibrating on the frequency of love. If you look at the emotional guidance scale, she's up the top here, doing the things that make herself feel good. And she's still, she's like playing the beat to her, playing the beat of her own 
dancing to the beat of her own drum. I think I messed that bit up. <laughs> but she's, but the piano is still in tune. You know, she's still able to do the things that she needs to. There's contrast that's coming up, but she's got the vision. Remember maybe a couple of weeks ago, we saw the sun come, the sun card came up. Um, Cause we had the moon around the full, no, the new moon. And then on the full moon, which was the lunar eclipse, the beginning of eclipse season, we saw the sun, the light at the end of the tunnel. She's got this beautiful stained glass window above her. You know, she's got this star. Solar plexus, solar plexus, which is your personal power, which is what one of the, what was it? Pluto, massive transformation that can bring up a lot of fears and anxieties. Patience and determination is required as you navigate your personal power. So she knows she's navigating this personal power and whatever is coming up, she's like, bring it. But she's really trying to, when these things come up, she's trying not to allow it to way down on her anymore and she's now seeing this as an opportunity that if it gets too much it's triggering her she has to release it remember i said you can release it any time of the moon it's most powerful around the full moon or really any time when it's waning all right wednesday what do we need to know angels please wednesday for my mk love them. one card Ooh, queen of pentacles dang Dang, I would never say dang, but I have such an itchy nose, self-recognition. Self-recognition, putting yourself first. You made yourself a priority. The queen of pentacles is very nurturing. You're really taking care of yourself today. You're really doing that. I don't know if this is you sleeping in or you going to bed early or you taking the day off. I don't know. Maybe this is the day you've already started day one of your menstrual cycle, but this is Oh, the Queen of Pentacles is just abundance, however this looks like for you in your life. How do you give yourself love? Think of it in terms of what did you used to do when you were a child. This is the mothering. So this is maybe like how did your mom used to nurture you when you were little? Or how do you, well, what's your love language? How do you look after yourself now as an adult? That's a beautiful card. Love it. Love it a lot. Okay, Thursday. New moon and Leo. Wow. Oh, I love this one. The Page of Wands. This came up last week in our reading. Page of Wands, she is just blissful. She is beautiful. She's so grounded. She's so poised. And she's someone that other people really take note of. So interesting in terms of the new moon. How does that fit for you? Are you manifesting being this person, being a person that other people are looking up to, but being someone that you know? I want to be somebody else. Pink. Never win first place, don't support the team. That's a really low vibrational song. I want to be somebody else. But we can look at that, we can spin it around. I want to be somebody else. Pink. Don't let me get me. Don't want to be myself no more. It's like you've outgrown who you are. Never win first place. I don't support the team. can take direction and my sucks and never clean. Teachers dated me. My parents hated me. I was always in a fight. Every day I fight a war against the mirror. Can take the person staring back at me. I'm a hazard to myself. Pink. <laughs> Don't let me get me. LA told me you'll be a pop star or you have to change everything you are. That's a lot of shit. Okay. Okay. I just feel like this is change, you know? I feel like this has changed. You want to be somebody else. It's not saying like you don't want to be who you are anymore because who you are now served you in a time period. You're having to step up. I feel like this is you kind of leveling up. You don't want to be who you used to be because it's not serving you. I just repeated myself, but I feel like that makes sense. You don't want to be yourself who you are anymore because you can't be the same person in this dream life. You have to constantly level up. Like when I first started my business and I started manifesting my dream clients, I had to go from charging one price to this price. How did I level up? I couldn't be that same male doing the same things, watching bullshit on YouTube. I had to start 
shifting things. I had to start reprogramming my subconscious. I had to start rebalancing my chakras. I really had to reconnect my body, mind, and soul. I had to really, I had to become, become a whole different person to manifest these clients because these clients were requiring of this big boss lady Mel and I couldn't be this tarot reader, you know, that just did private tarot readings every now and then. I had to be someone who was fully flipping booked and I had to do a lot of the internal work. We are at 20 minutes already? My gosh, I talk too much. Okay, so basically we're becoming a whole new person. A whole new world. Friday, what do we need to know for Friday? Friday, oh, maybe there's two cards. Friday, the three of pentacles, that is your support system. You need new support systems in this new person that you're becoming. Intuition, you could visualize who they are. You could, okay, so the high priestess is wisdom. You've got the wisdom for the owl. You've got the moon to guide you. How do you get to this person? You really have to meditate. Meditate and maybe the meditation is coming I don't know, maybe your supports are coming from like a, a meditation group that you go to. I don't know however this looks like for you, but this is the supports. We've had a lot of this over the last month, finding the right people that actually give a shit about you. These are the people who are rooting for you no matter what you're going through in your life. They're there through thick and thin because there's no ego attached. They're not like, I'm only gonna be your friend if you give me a shout out on Instagram. You know, they actually care about you and your well being, and they are very, beautiful, soulful people that you need to surround yourself with. And in terms of changing who you are, you may be changing that support system. Um, yeah, you may be finding that, you know, the support system could be people that you follow on Instagram. You may unfollow, which I do like every month. I unfollow people who I'm like, no, you're not really bringing value to my life. I only follow people on Instagram who are living the life in which I want and have really high vibrational content. <laughs> um, when did you say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? So let's see what we need to know for Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Wow. Possibilities. Ooh. Oh, well, yes. Okay, Seven of Cups is like imagination. Dream big. What does your dream life look like? If money wasn't an option, what do you want to do? I want you to think that big so it scares you. Literally, what does your dream life look like? Then you got the fool, which is like you're beginning something new. You risk it all. You risk it all for this life, this, this dream and this vision that you want. The bigger the vision it is, the more it's going to scare you. And that is perfect. It gets you out of your comfort zone. That's why Pluto is here retrograding, showing you that this is your time to do it. Take this opportunity and don't waste it. I feel like, yeah, like real like motivational stuff. Like you can do it. <laughs> dream big. Dream is wild and it's crazy. And then in the new moon, then you have to just start visualizing like, this is what I want. This is the, the life I want, like the career I want. This is the house I want to live in. This is the country that I want to live in. These are the children that I want. This is, I don't know, whatever this looks like for you. The food that you're eating, the body that you've got, the how way your house is decorated. Whatever that looks like for you, dream it and you can manifest it. All right, Saturday, no, Sunday. I can show you the world, shiny, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, no when did you less let your heart decide? Making the decision from a place of love instead of being fear, stuck in that fear and that scarcity and going like, oh, I can never travel, you know, because I don't have the money. How could you find the money? What could you do? You know, travel doesn't have to be expensive. One way that I have been able to travel the world as I'm building my business is house sitting. I don't know, is that something that you're interested in? There's so many possibilities. You know, you could manifest winning a trip. Every house sit that I do, it gets better and better. The house gets more beautiful. I started off in this shitty place that I was looking after this guy's house and his house was disgusting to staying in beautiful houses that come with a cleaner and a dog washer and a gardener, you know? <laughs> As I level up, so do my surroundings. There we go, Sunday. 
All your troubles seem so far away. Six of Wands, Six of Swords is just taking a breather, taking it away out of that trouble. I think don't, I don't want, you, I know that you're meant to be planning on Sunday, but I feel like just take a rest. Just have a rest and have a time to daydream in it. In it. Yes. I did you. Wow. That's it for the week. I want you to dream so big that it scares you. And if money wasn't an option, what the flip would you do? And look and watch, go to the cinema and watch Aladdin. I can show you the world. What are the lyrics? Shine and shimmer and splendor. Anyways, I need to go. Ooh, oh, I kind of want to sing you the song. <laughs> um, Tell me, princess, now when did you let your heart decide? A dazzling place I never knew But when I'm way up here It's crystal clear Now I'm in this whole new world with you Unbelievable sights Indescribable feeling Soaring, tumbling I don't know how this goes. Um, through an endless diamond sky, a Honda. <laughs> okay, a whole new world. That's what this is all about. A whole new world that you're manifesting. I have goosebumps. I feel so much better than last week. Last week I was like, what the heck is happening? I don't understand. But this week it's kind of like, you know, the last week was like introspection. And now it's like visualizing what you want. And if we go back to the nine of wands, it's like, you know, you're not taking action on it just yet. You're kind of visualizing, you're reflecting on what happened, loving the lesson, saying thank you, thank you, thank you. And now you're visualizing this whole new world. Possibilities are endless. Or maybe it's called endless possibilities. I don't think I can fit a whole new world into the title. Endless possibilities. Yes. All right, my loves, thank you so much. If you made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, an amazing week ahead of you. I'm really excited for you. I could kind of feel like, Doo. I don't know, I just feel like it's a dance party. Like the dance, I can just feel like we can dance again. Like with, yeah, I don't know, I feel really excited for you. If you join me on the live chat, I love you extra. <laughs> if you join me on the replay, thank you so much. Please comment down below. Let me know what came up for you. I will get back to your questions if you watch the replay next week, just before half an hour before I get onto the live chat. And that's where I'll catch them all up. Have an amazing week. Join me on Instagram. If you need help navigating this new fabulous you that you're creating, check the link in my description. Check out my free exclusive training. I teach you how to heal your childhood trauma. I broke the cycle of abuse in my own family. Now vibrating on the frequency of love, no longer like a little like negative Nancy and in crazy toxic relationships. I'm married to the man of my dreams. I'm living my dream life in terms of my business, working with the most beautiful high vibrational clients in the whole wide world. Like I literally handpick them. People apply through an application and then I get to choose who's a vibrational match. Like what is my life? Anyways, I love you, I love you. And I will see you next episode. Bye guys. I just want to give you a hug. Bye.